Hello munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome back to a new cage unboxing. Is this going to be a good review? Is this going to be a bad review? Is this going to be a mixed review? I don't know. Today's enclosure came to us thanks to a lovely lady named Amy. We were able to receive this enclosure because right now at the rescue we are looking for enclosures and things that we can have because we took in a pregnant Syrian litter that three out of four hamsters were pregnant, at least for the pups. The dad, however, obviously was not pregnant when we took him in. But because of this, there was a few hamsters born here at the rescue. And we're going to be having a lot of enclosures being used here very soon when it comes to separating them. So this is an enclosure that we looked up and saw that it should meet the recommended square inch minimum here in the United States. So let me go over that real quickly here. But before I do that, if you're unfamiliar with me, hello, my name is Munchie and I run a small mammal rescue where we rescue hamsters, gerbils, and mites with my wonderful team here at the rescue. So for those of you who are looking for background information, that's basically what I'm doing on YouTube right now besides just giving you guys my life and following along my journey. Basically, you're living through me through this rescue <laughs> with these videos. So 450 square inches is the US recommended minimum and that is there because it's based off of laws and based off of what is currently available in the United States for appropriate size enclosures. United Kingdom 620 is the square inch minimum because they make better enclosures and sometimes we have to even import those enclosures overseas so we can get something suitable like they have over in the United Kingdom. Germany is 860 square inches as a minimum and Germany has very high animal laws. There has actually been several Germany viewers. Hi whoever you are. If you are a Germany viewer leave it down below and tell me about all of your experience with animals but you guys have told me that some of the things you see on this channel, whether it be Craigslist ads when I do the good and bad Craigslist ad videos, or our rescues even, which the last one that was very severe was Phoenix and Dobby's rescue. Those poor animals went through a lot. And you guys told me if we saw neglect like that in Germany, then those people would easily get in trouble. However, in the United States, it's very difficult to get the right type of punishment for people who neglect small animals. So just wanna say that real quickly there just so we can clear it up because people have asked me about the recommended size and so we need to make sure that if this is gonna be a good enclosure, it needs to meet the minimum square inch. That's what makes this a good enclosure. So I've actually gone ahead and already have done that. This cage is 29 length by 15 and a half width which is saying right here, 452.4 square inches. So this is technically the minimum. I don't think I've ever had an enclosure so close to the bare minimum as this one right here. And then if you're wondering about the pan depth, it's actually a lot higher than that of the preview 528 that you guys have seen me praise, which is another wire enclosure like this one. But this one has seven inches versus preview six inches. So you could add a little bit more to it, but just be aware it might overflow if you add all seven inches. And of course the height, when we start to put on this wire part here, it will be 20 and a half inches high. This is a ledge. These are hanging tunnels. This is part of a water bottle. Where's the nozzle? Is, is there a nozzle in here? Goodness, I hope there's a nozzle. I'm not seeing a nozzle. There is a litter pan that actually clips to the side of the enclosure. Here is the very long nozzle. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but that's a very long nozzle. And clips for the water bottle. Wait, are these instructions? No, these are not instructions. I thought they were at first, but no, they are not. And it's only a gigantic picture of what it's supposed to look like. Don't worry guys, I got this. But let me just tell you what this enclosure is. It is made by Mick Cage. Large two-level universal small animal home critter habitat cage for wide variety, exotics, animals, ferrets, hamster, mice, rats, mouse, gerbil, guinea pigs, hedgehogs, chinchillas. But if we scroll down, it says, what is your targeted audience? And the target audience right here, the keyword is guinea pigs. No, 
450 square inches for guinea pigs. This is tiny. This is inappropriate to be using for guinea pigs. Plus the items that it comes with, including the tunnels that hang from the roof, that's more like a ferret thing or a rat thing. That is definitely not a guinea pig. So please guys, when I am reviewing this, we're only reviewing it for hamsters and mice. Gerbils shoot through plastic, we're not gonna be reviewing that. Guinea pigs, it's too small to be housing one to two guinea pigs in it. When it comes to other creatures like Ferrets, rats, chinchillas benefit from vertical. Mice, mice definitely can use this. But anyways, let me get back to what it currently says here in the description about this product. It says here, large size, 31 times 17 times 20 high. So the 31 and 17 is actually the wire. They measured it from the wire, which I measured it from the pan and you wanna measure it in the middle of the pan because that's where the most amount of bedding will be. It's the most dense. So measuring from above where the wires are clearly bigger, where you can clearly see that this is the pan and this is where the wire sits on top of, it's not a good calculation. So my calculation is much more accurate and this i believe with those numbers that i'm seeing here is around the 500 square inch range anyways why playing tunnel tube two front doors large 16 inch half circle platform drinking water bottle theater bowl narrow wide spacing and deep base 3 8 inch bar space 7 inch deep tubby base wide playing tunnel tube extra wide four inch playing tunnel tube swing with metal chain hook now i'm not going to be using the tunnels just because metal chain hooks specifically the ones with a certain type of clip at the end can snag your hamster's feet and they can get stuck causing them to be dangling from the chain that could cause severe trauma anxiety and could actually give your hamster a heart attack if they can't escape it's like if hamsters were to get stuck in a sticky trap they will have so much stress their hearts might just explode. It is that terrifying. Easy to set up, no tool needed. Foldable wire cage body for easy storage and travel, which is great because that's kind of like what the Prev 528 is. If you can easily fold it, it's good. However, this comes in multiple pieces, whereas the preview cage actually comes in one foldable piece and it latches perfectly together. Animal safe, a proxy coated finish design for your home of wide variety of small animals. So that's why it's called universal because it's basically telling you it's wide variety but I wanted to test out this cage because in the reviews it said that they had hamsters in this cage and it was perfect. And so let's just test it out now. What I'm gonna put on first is of course the wire because that's how this all works. That must be the front doors. So it's gonna fold out like this. Ooh, that is weird and stiff. There we go. This one doesn't wanna stay put. Why? Why do you wanna fold and bend like that? I don't like that. Oh, you're not even hooking. That's the problem. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, I'm just ruining it. <laughs> you're supposed to be easy. I'm at a really bad angle here, so that's why Munchie is frustrated ah! now. All right, here we go. Round two. Also, I just wanna share with you what the bottom looks like. I find this to be so interesting. It doesn't actually sit flat, which I would have preferred because I'm going to be putting this on my rack system. Actually, it's 20 inches high, so I'll have to set this on the floor, but I don't know about how I feel about the bottom of it. And it has little feet too. So this might be actually hard to house with the type of setup I have for the rescue. Oh, sorry. Uh, the bars just don't feel right. They feel like there's too much, like this one right here, keeps wanting to push out. Just stay straight, straight please. Straight, straight, nope, okay, not straight. So I think this is as good as I'm gonna get it right now. As you can see, the way to open up this enclosure is by lifting up this metal and having it fall out. How safe that is for your small animal, I have no idea. I feel like you can easily push this up with a hamster, and if your hamster's smart enough, push this up. Also, let me just quickly right now test out the durability of these wires because they look like they could be kind of flimsy. They seem to be doing pretty okay. They are kind of bendable, but it's a better material than what I'm used to. The doors that you just saw me open up are quite big, but I just don't like the way it's constructed. I mean, like, look, it's all bendable. The door's not lining up anymore supposed to go straight up and it's not. So let me see if I can fix that. Because it wants to hook this way. And now here's my problem. This, if a hamster were to get out of here like this, they can squeeze. Syrians can squeeze through stuff like this. So if this door goes too much to one way and the other, it's gonna cause an escape problem. So I don't like that. 
Although it's now straight again, but what happens if your hamster is trying to climb on this? These bars are vertical rather than horizontal, which is what a lot of people are used to, the horizontal bars, but there is little areas where they can stick their feet and they can easily just hang from it. Right here, I would be very nervous that my Syrian's gonna climb up here, try to climb up further and shift the door. That is a safety hazard right here. So I'm gonna make that a mention to you guys. Now, the top is just wire. So, what? So it just sits like that, wait, what? All right. So there is clips at the top here and there's also clips on the inside of here, which does worry me. So maybe not clip the outside first, clip the inside first. Let's try that, might be a little easier. Is there any clips I can secure this with? Because with the preview cage, what it does is there's clips to secure the wire to the pan so nothing shifts. Hook the small ones together first, which it looks like they went in fine. Let's do this one now. That one's in. Ow, 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 pinch, 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 pinch. Oh, oh, oh. this is a strain right here. Oh, Jesus, no, 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 don't go all the way in. Don't go all the way in and don't go all the way down. All right, so I got that. Now the outside, line up. Are you lining up? You're, now you're lining up. All right, now this side. It does worry me because the sides here don't look right. Why does that not look right now? Oh, this doesn't look right. Oh, that's why. You guys aren't seeing this, but if you're not keeping it lined up, it's crooked. I'm, I'm having issues with this cage being way too crooked. So what I did was I lined up these sides in the wrong holes. So now I have to unhook everything and line it back up. Many moments later. Ta-da! We have everything assembled. Now let's assemble the inside. Even though technically we don't need to be using these things, let's just go over with you guys the accessories. The accessories today is a very large ledge. It has textured bottom. Water bottle, I have no idea if it's a good or bad one. It looks like a generic one, but it's a big size, which says right here, it goes up to 500 milliliters of water, which hamsters, they're not gonna devour that much water and you don't want bacteria to grow in that amount of time. But this is just to seal the cap so that there's no air leaking out. So you can have a good section. Yeah, this is a very flimsy bottle, but maybe it will function, who knows. Clip the bottle like this to have it be attached to the side of the cage, but you gotta move it so that the outside is facing now inward. The tubes feel very plasticky. They're very smooth, but they do have ridges on the inside. And I want them to clip. How easy is it to get the lip on? Oh, pretty easy, it's made of rubber. Now these clips right here, you don't have to use. You can actually take them off, which I would prefer because a hamster can get their claws stuck inside of here. But this is the size of it. This can easily fit ferrets, rats, hamsters, mice. Yay, it looks like we do have clips. Okay, so the clips were in that bag, so we're actually gonna complete it now. Clips help keep the wire part secure to the pan. If they did not come with clips, it would have been a very unsecured cage. So these clips right here, oh, oh, they feel horrible. Oh, they feel like dried out plastic if that's even a thing. It, it has no movement. It has no bend. Oh, they're so stiff. So one, two, three, four. That doesn't seem like enough. Yeah, that's, that's not really enough. So what it looks like is there's gonna be two on the front and two on the back, and they're not thinking about the sides at all, versus the preview cage, where the preview cage has six clips. And these clips, ugh, I, I don't like these clips. So here we go, we're just gonna try to position it. One right here. Oh, oh, can you clip? Can you please clip for me? Why aren't you clipping? How do you clip it then? It's not able to reach the bottom. So where am I supposed to clip this to? Ugh. Ugh. Palm, you gotta hit the palm. So here we go for demonstration purposes. So, palm. <laughs> ah. Ooh, okay. I don't like these clips at all. I don't, I really don't. But here we go, last part. Ugh. Your whole 
body push it in. So yeah, this has come together pretty okay. Ugh, I really don't like these doors. I don't like the way they fall down. At this moment in time, as I'm trying to put this all together, I'm just thinking in my head, this cage is a mixed bag of yay and not so great. Let me just show you what it looks like with all these accessories in there. I just don't like the wire part in building this. It sucks. So I bring you an 11 inch wheel. I could have brought you a 10 inch wheel, but my 10 inch wheels are the bucket wheels and their stands are actually a lot higher up in the air. So this one I brought to you today to then say, oh no, I can't add anything bigger than the opening inside of here without taking it all apart and unhooking it. So watch me struggle please, because you know, this is life lesson 101 with Munchie. There we go, okay. You kind of have to oof it up. Yeah, let's pretend we can have a tunnel in here. Not suspended, I don't want to suspend the tunnels, but it's cool that you can suspend them. You gotta line it up perfectly too. If you're not lined in the holes, it does not do you any good. Oh, I don't like that. Little tiny clips are on the side. It's like I'm wrestling with this cage. It's now giving me horrible back pains. There we go, that's in. That's in. Is that one clipped? Oh, it's clipped. Okay, we got it. Success. Woo. Now just carefully put this all back on. Is it lined? Are the clips lined? The worst doors. 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 Uh, I am noticing right here now that I'm fiddling with this, this that keeps going in and out causes a gap. As you can see me pitching my finger for demonstration. Uh-oh, is this my middle finger? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll do this finger then. See that? That could be an escape pinch hazard that could actually cause a lot of harm to your hamster. This I wouldn't really technically use for a hamster. Well, I'm now sad because I, I said that this was a good cage. Well, hopefully a good cage. Now I'm saying it's a mixed review and now I'm saying I might actually not use this. I'll try it out, don't worry guys, I'll try it out, but it's just like, when it comes to the rescue, we gravitate towards our preview 528 cages. So there's really no need to be using a cage like this, but I'm reviewing it for you guys. So here we are. New angle here, ready to show you a spiffy cage compared to this cage and how I assembled this one just for comparison. Because it's always good to compare cages that might be good with each other so you can see which one is better. So that's why I do it. This comes with six clips and these clips are nice. They are nice texture too. Here's a preview. Here's how easy it is to assemble. I've done this for years. This is Pan. Pan says hi. Pan likes a good audience. Pan says, come on over, watch this video. It's a good video. Watch her assemble me into the beautiful creation that I was meant to be. Clippy clip right here on the thickest bar. Snap in place. Clip right here. Snap in place. Gotta make sure the sides are working and functioning. For some reason this looks bent a little bit. I might have accidentally bent it, didn't mean to. Clip. Clippy back here. Clip, clip, clip. Clippy on the side. Hopefully you can still see. Oh my god, I'm out of frame. I am hitting the tripod for some reason. Clip. And then the last part of the clippy. Clippy over here. Clip. Hey, look at that. Isn't that so neat? I assembled it in what? Two, three minutes? So, I'm lining up the back here. All right, back is completely straight. So you can see how much it comes out. It comes out quite a little bit away right there. And then you can also see a better height difference. Well, hopefully. The thing that I like about this is it's got a top compartment where you can stick it in. And then the side compartment, which is big enough for me to stick in a bloody wheel. This cage don't give me that option. But that's comparing a good cage with supposedly another good cage that I give mixed reviews about. So bottom line for this type of enclosure, I feel like, yes, you can add mice in here. Yes, you can add hamsters of all five species in here. No, you cannot add gerbils because it's made of plastic and very cheap plastic, mind you. It's not as good of a quality, especially with the clips. And yes, this could function, but safety, 
does concern me, especially when climbing on these wires and then having this big gap right here that just unfortunately causes some concern that it's just so easy to move left to right. For bigger animals like this was originally intended for, it won't be much of a problem. However, the description of the enclosure says hamsters and it says universal, but some of these companies don't take into consideration the safety of these types of enclosures for smaller animals because they are known to want to explore and escape. I don't like that. Yes, you can fit large accessories in here, but you gotta take the pan all the way off compared to other cages where they have a big enough door entry where you can stick in as much large items as you want without having to take the whole thing apart. Part. Assembling this, even though all of this is now placed on top of each other, it was two separate wire compartments where you had to force them together. And I did not like that. I didn't like the initial assembly. And disassembling for easy to store, I want to say it's not going to be as easy to store as other ones, especially with the design. This curves. And I don't like how it curves. Even though it looks aesthetically pleasing when it curves, it's better to have a very flat edge here so you can fold it a lot easier. So yes, it functions, but it's not a very good functioning one. Yes, it is appropriate. But at the same time, it's not appropriate. Hopefully you understand when I say this is only a mixed review of an okay-ish enclosure. And it's not something I would highly recommend because you know I would highly recommend something else. So thanks guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, hit like to show support. Comment down below with anything you'd like to say and subscribe if you are new here and would like to see more unboxing videos of cages like this so I can try out cages for you guys to see which ones you might be interested in and how they actually function. So for now, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.